everyone, I'm Donna Downey from Donna Downey Studios and I'm going to be showing you all the versatility that the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft line can do. The first techniques I'm going to be showing you are using the Gelato line from Design Memory Craft. They are in a wide array of colors and I'm going to show you some techniques with water and some techniques without to incorporate into your art projects. This next technique is also a resist, but instead of using UT or using gel medium, we're going to use regular school glue. But first we need to prime the page, so we're going to put a coat of gesso over the surface so that the surface isn't porous when we begin. Then I'm going to dry the surface so that we can put the glue on top. Now that the gesso is dry, this is where it gets really fun. Take the glue, hold it upside down and just start to make a design. It doesn't matter where you go, just make this crazy design if you want to draw flowers or just make an abstract piece of artwork. Once that's done and the glue is dry, then we could put the gelatos on top. All right, I've chosen two cool colors to go ahead and color the background right over the glue. I'm going to fill the surface, and once I do, I'm going to take the water bottle, spritz it down, and make some paint, and again, wait for paint to dry. So in my journal, I have the same exact page done. And one of the really fun things about this is that the regular school glue is like a masking fluid. And what it does is once you've painted over it, yes, you could wipe with a baby wipe and take some of the color off. But even better than that is that you can actually peel the glue off of the surface as long as it's gessoed. Not only is this a really fun way to get some colorful and abstract designs into your work, but you never know when these little leftover bits might make really cool abstract designs in your work.